So this is the first video in my series on uh, Briggs & Stratton uh, lawnmower engine developments. Here on the left we've got uh, 1963 uh, two and a half horse Briggs & Stratton. It's got the special uh, wind-up uh, starter on it there, which isn't all that common. And here i got a 2013 uh, scrapyard veteran. The uh, top's been bashed around a bit, but just to show you the, the basic outline. So this one's got the gas tank on the left hand side in this view and this one it's on the right. And uh, you know, various differences. Uh, I guess this one's rated you know, probably uh, three and three quarter horse, something like that, whereas this one's two and a half. And uh, the white one's eight cubic inch and this one's uh, well like nine point two. So a lot of differences in the, the log style muffler there and, and this new fatter muffler with a, it's got a screen around it there so you can't touch it. This old lad's got points ignition and this one's a magnetron electronic. And uh, I haven't got the air filter on this but it used a oil bath air filter and this one of course is a foam one with lots of differences. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, show a video of the, the 63 uh, starting up. So here we got the 1963 two and a half horse eight cubic inch Briggs, and this one's got the wind up starter. So we'll go ahead and lock it. Just give it a few cranks. Pretty good. Just twist this knob and. show the engine internals of an old uh, 63 or even back into the uh, say mid 50s uh, Briggs and Stratton. This one here is a two and a half horse and uh, I've got another old jobby here. It's hard to read but it says two horse. I guess the camera sees it better than I can. Two horse Briggs and uh, they're basically the same on the outside. Uh, this This old one here it's from the 50s uh, it's actually got a cast iron uh, cylinder liner in it. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, butchered it there and made it a sectioned engine that you can see into. Uh, that was before I knew how rare it was with the cast iron liner. But the exhaust port has a crack in it. That's why I uh, tacked it with a hacksaw there. But anyway, so that's a that's a two horse, and this guy's a two and a half. And the main difference between them is. The cylinder bore is the same at uh, about two and three eighths inch, but the crankshaft is different. Here's the two horse crank, and then there's the two and a half. And uh, this this crank is basically interchangeable with three and three and a half horses, uh, the later engines. But uh, the journal's smaller and uh, has a shorter stroke and smaller uh, counterweights, as you can see there. Anyway, the other engine internals, like the camshaft on these old guys, it's all uh, cast iron. Uh, Dipper is basically the same as modern day, but the uh, connecting rod, it's a fairly common design on the, the foot, the two and a half, three, three and a half. Um, and these old ones, they use uh, need a 7 16 socket to get them out, and it uses a lock tab that goes under the bolts, and then you bend it up, bend the sheet metal up to lock it in. They've, uh, gotten rid of all that now. As I say, these little lads, they use a 2 and 3 8 inch piston uh, as opposed to the more modern 
uh, engines which use a uh, about a two and nine sixteenths inch. You can see the difference in piston size there, even though the connecting rod is identical. So anyway, that's just an overview of the the parts and the uh, old beast here. Oh, just one other thing I want to point out: uh, the crankshaft gear is integral with the crankshaft. It's been machined as part of the crankshaft, uh, so that's something that's changed, as well as the uh, material the camshaft's made out of now. So anyway, they used to build them uh, pretty solid and uh, pretty heavy uh, back in the day.